Hello everybody and welcome to this Train Sim World uh, 4 news video. Um, as promised in, in previous videos, I said if there were any more updates um, significant enough to warrant a video um, and or a blog post, I would make I would make one. Um, today there is big news that certainly warrants both. Um, I mean, it's sort of been public domain knowledge for little while now but it's only really just uh, started to be circulated so uh, we got some new they're not really leaks because they're quite clearly intentionally released um, but Dovetail probably didn't intend for it to be picked up on so quickly because um, it's not the sort of thing that anyone would really monitor uh, and I'll explain what I mean so a bit of a TLDR um, Train Sim Mod 4 is more or less fully confirmed. Um, so I know there were some doubters in the comments. Um, it, it, it's confirmed. More like 99% certainty that it is happening because everything is lining up for more or less exactly what, um, what the French website claimed, uh, as is written there. Um, there are a number of DLCs that are already listed. Uh, we don't know what they are, but they're up. Um, they're just, it, you know, it, it's just sort of says that there's a DLC that exists, but we don't know what it is. I uh, don't know how big it is, don't know what files are inside it. Um, well, that's not entirely true, but we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, for the time being, just so what is this new information? So there's two sets of new DLC depots. Now a depot, just for those who don't know, um, and I go into this more on the blog post, but um, on the Steam store, each thing for sale has to be assigned to a depot. And this goes for the same as the Epic store, which is actually what this came from. Um, but it, it's on the Steam store as well. Now, these depots, it's just um, any file that's involved with with something that's listed on, on a store, um, any name that it's being given has to be on the depot. Uh, and the depot can be created without something being listed as for sale or for pre-order on the store. And in this case, the depots have been created, there's no, any, nothing's up on the store. Like if you go Google anything on the store, it won't come up. Um, and the depots have um, unassigned names uh, at the moment. Um, so there's there's two sets. By that I mean they're all named in the same convention. It's just they're numbered slightly differently. They're all labelled Smithfield, all the new ones. Uh, and I reckon this is the internal code name for Train Sim Mod Four, um, because as the more technical of of you would know, all of the um, well, whenever there was a new depot that was uh, dumped for Trains in World 3, they would always have Pentadecagon um, followed by a number or a little code. Um, so, for example, the Acceler Express, before we, um, before we received that, it was Pentadecagon AEA for Pentadecagon Amtrak, um, Amtrak uh, Acceler Express Amtrak, probably. Um, but that was the AEA. There's a few more um, that are still assigned the Pentadecagon uh, name, a few more depots. So potentially there are a few DLC that Dovetail haven't been able to release for Train Sim World 3 um, that will be reassigned perhaps to the Smithfield um, prefix, uh, or perhaps they'll be released in the coming, coming weeks. Um, I'm not sure. I can't comment on that. I, I don't know. Um, but they're all all the new ones are labelled Smithfield. The first eighty three of them are numbered Smithfield one to Smithfield eighty three, uh, and these were first. The first one of these was created on the thirty first of May, and they were um, uh, continually created up until about mid June. Now. Uh, the second set is Smithfield 101 to Smithfield 15, and um, 
This was first logged on the 13th of June, and that continued until, um, I believe, late June, uh, perhaps early July, I can't quite remember. Um, and some of these have additional labels, additional suffixes, uh, which I'll have a look at later. And all information that's sourced uh, that's here is sourced publicly from uh, epicdatainfo.versal.app. Uh, there'll be a link to exactly this uh, these depot dumps in the description. If you want to have a look, basically it's anything labelled Smithfield that's of interest. And then you can also have a hunt through for anything labelled um, Pentadecagon. Make sure if you are going to do this that you sort by uh, date created, because uh, otherwise it'll sort alphabetically and it's a pain in the ass. I mean, you'll end up at Smithfield eventually, because they all start with SM, but... Anyway, um, so yes, just to summarise, because this has been a long slide, um, there's some new internal store pages that have been created without actually launching a store page, and there are about 100 of them. They're all labelled Smithfield, so they're all, they must all be for one product and that product would make sense to be trained some of four. They've, they were first created in May, um, and there are, yeah, there, there's two different sets of them, and some of them have labels. But that is all confirmed. This is not speculation, this is fact. Um, I mean, that, them being for Trains in Mod 4 is very heavy speculation, but it's, it's speculation that is like, Again, a 99% certainty that this is for Trains in Mod 4, um, because there's just so much stuff, and I'll get into that later. So the first set, uh, the first 83 Smithfields, uh, which are obviously numbered 1 to 83, uh, consistent with the 81 DLC that are currently listed for Trains in Mod 3, plus the base routes. So there's 81 DLC that you can buy for Trains in Mod 3. Um, and then, which I, uh, that might include Trains in Mod 3 itself, I'm not quite sure. Now, if you add um, Castle Versburg, Southeastern High Speed Extended, and, um, and uh, oh, what's the other one? Cajon Pass, then you get roughly 83. Um, so I reckon these first 83 Smithfields are um, just existing DLC that are being um, recoded and reformatted to be compatible with Trains in World 4. In the same way that, you know, we had preserved collection going from Trains in World 2020 to Trains in World 2, and in the same way that things carried over from 2 to 3. So that, you know, that ev everything that you already own, I should expect, will carry over forward as one of these first 83 Smithfields. Uh, and there's not much else to say about that. Um, not much to speculate there. The second set of Smithfields, however, these are numbered 101 to 115. Now, the fact that there's a gap there, um, these are all 101, uh, you know, there are 100 and something. I suspect these will be new content, because the 83 that were already uh, in the previous one, they're the existing stuff, I reckon this is going to be new stuff. Um, I don't think this will carry back to Trades in World 3. Um, now, most of them are just labelled Smithfield 101 or Smithfield uh, 105. Some of them have additional label, additional suffixes. So there's Smithfield 109 Vectron, which is obviously the seam, a Siemens Vectron. Are they Siemens? Pretty sure. It, it's a Vectron, right? Um, now, we know that one of the few things listed on the roadmap is an unnamed German electric loco. Now, that's on the roadmap for Trains in World 3, so I'm a bit confused as to why it is listed here as a Smithfield. I should expect that it will not be on the next roadmap, or they'll be very quiet about it. Um, because the rest of this is consistent with Trains in World 4, and it is listed here as with the rest of everything else. So I reckon that it is for Trains in World 4, and I should imagine, unless, unless, I did see, and I just thought of this just two seconds ago, there is a Pentadecagon DLC 99, 
that's what it's called i'm pretty pretty certain so potentially that could be because that's also a nine potentially that could be the vectron that releases for train to world three because that's a pentadecagon um which is obviously the code for train to world three um i'm not sure that's pure speculation um probably not true but um that's the first one the vectron the second one is smithfield 104 flying scotsman centenary edition now i suspect this will be a uh, dlc for a potential east coast mainline now this will also probably be a base route for trains in world four um uh the east coast mainline i'm not sure but it's so highly requested it would make sense for it to be um and then these other three smithfield 101 102 and 103 pre-purchase i suspect these will be base routes available for pre-order in august because there was also a smithfield general or something like that and that smithfield general might be a pre-order um for all three of those Smithfields. Now, this is perplexing to me because if all three are listed separately, either they're three different bundles, three different arrangements of things to purchase, which could be like a standard edition, a premium edition, or um, like a pack that just contains the training centre, or something like that. Or they could be this could be a paid update. I don't think it's likely, but it, it raises the likelihood that it is. It's still unlikely, though, um, because you could have a general as you get all three of the routes, and then these three pre-purchases if you just want one of them. Um, I'm not sure. It all will be revealed in due course. Um, now, these, these three above are also... They're also um, separate uh, Smithfields that do not have pre-purchase on them. So there's a separate Smithfield 101, Smithfield 102, and Smithfield 103. Now, I genuinely don't know why. Because um, um, pre-order... I, 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 it must be a pre-order bonus that comes with them uh, that they're then going to swap out on release day for whatever this is um, with a regular version. And... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I can't tell you. Um, I, I don't know. Um, obviously, when I find out, if that's before everyone else, I will make uh, make that clear. But I, I can't say anything else on that at this point in time. There's just not enough information. But those are the labelled ones. There's not too much to go off, apart from the um, Flying Scotsman Centenary Edition, which which is quite uh, quite interesting. So you're just going to talk briefly about alignment with the original leak, because I've, I've heard a lot of people going, oh, well, the original leak has absolutely no factual basis. And whilst that is, that is sort of true, um, even though there was some evidence from the beginning, I, I completely agree that it is good to be sceptical. Um, and I was sceptical at first. Um, but the leak, independently of this states that there are over a hundred DLC which is correct to an extent um, in that there are about a hundred total DLC but not all of them are new um, now I don't blame this could just be a mistake which I, I don't blame the, the, the original leaker for because this whole thing's quite complicated the way they carry over stuff um, but the 100 number is accurate uh, and the original leak pre uh, blah, blah, blah. the original leak predicted the release to be in September um, now if we look back last year to Trains in World 3 Trains in World 3's depots um, which were dumped in a similar amount um, to, to the ones that I'm talking about now they were dumped at the s roughly the same time last year that the dumps for this um, were dumped this year. Trains in World 3 released last September. So, you know, May to September last year, and we're now seeing May to potentially September. That's what the original French article said. So I reckon 
I reckon that's also accurate. Um, so I, yeah, it, with this aligning and everything, this is almost, almost definite. Like there's there's not much point trying to, um, trying to, uh, to claim the opposite anymore. Um, and we just sort of have to look forward to what is going to be included. Um, implications. So what does this mean? Well, again, a more or less a confirmation of Trades in World 4. Again, I can't say for uh, with certainty whether it's going to be a paid update or a new title. My money is on new title. That's what things are sort of leaning towards. Um, although it could be a Rush Hour style... Um, a Rush Hour style paid update. But again, I'm leaning strongly towards a completely new title. Um, we know that there's 15 new DLCs upcoming. Some of them are probably um, third party. Uh, so that'll be Alan Thompson Sim and Union Workshop and Just Trains, th uh, Rivet Games, Skyhook. Because they're probably all working on routes that we don't know about. And it would make sense that they've been waiting to put them on the roadmap until they've announced this. Uh, there's also the potential for an East Coast mainline route. It would make sense with that Flying Scotsman centenary. Um, whether it's ECML South or ECML North, not sure. Um, and there are also two leftover Pentadecagon DLC, the 99 and um, a CB. So I talked about the 99 earlier. Um, it could be the Vectron. It might not be. It might be something completely different. Um, and CB... I don't know. People have reckoned um, Cambridge to Blackfriars or things like that. I really, I don't know. We'll find out certainly, um, and I'll keep an eye on that. Just to check that um, they haven't been renamed or deleted or anything like that. Um, and they, I mean, I'll see. I'll watch the situation and I'll let you know if there's any changes to it. And finally, I thought, because there's all this Smithfield, I was thinking, why would they have chosen that to be a code name? Because it's, I mean, it could just be a random code name. That's certainly a possibility. But on the off chance that it isn't, I've had a look at places uh, that are called Smithfield. There's not much other stuff with even the slightest relevance to trains that's called Smithfield. So these are the, the things called Smithfield. Uh, there's a suburb of Adelaide. Uh, but I should take these are all suburbs called Smithfield or towns that are close to a railway. Um, so if they're in the middle of nowhere, I haven't included them because the list would be far too long. So there's Adelaide in Australia. In the US, there's Birmingham, Illinois, North Carolina, South Carolina, Utah, and West Virginia. In New Zealand, there's Tamaru. And in the UK, there's sort of the Farringdon general area, Smithfields Market. Now, uh, I reckon this uh, Birmingham, Alabama in the US, I reckon that is reasonably likely to be a US route because there's large rail yards, um, enormous rail yards in, in Birmingham. Um, and Smithfield is sort of close to a railway as a suburb of Birmingham, Alabama. Farringdon in the UK as well, quite likely, because that could link to... Um, uh, that's in the Thames Link Core, obviously, Farringdon Station. Um, and the Thames Link Core is linked to the East Coast Main Line. And we have a Class 700 now. Potentially they're working on a 701. Potentially they've got a 701 ready to release that they're just waiting for ECML. Not sure, can't say, don't know. Um, now, Tamaru and Adelaide, I think, are much less likely because they're on the other side of the world. Dovetail's never gone that far to make a route. Um, so I doubt it. Although there's an outside possibility, considering it's this big new release, that they will venture venture out. And other US localities, I just, I, they're, they're too insignificant. It's like a single track line in the middle of nowhere with nothing interesting around. It's just in the middle of a single track line that's in the middle of, like, the nearest yard would be like 200 miles away. So, no, I don't think so. Cotton Pass wasn't popular 
uh, arguably a bit of a fail for Dovetail because it uh, yes it's long but it's boring as fuck um, so that's that's my brief analysis of Smithfield um, obviously it most likely just means nothing because Pentadecagon like the fuck does that mean and that they chose that for Train Sim World 3 so I reckon someone just I don't know they maybe just told people to think of a code name and put them in the hat and they choose the best one who knows um, anyway that is about all for today's leak today's video I hope you've enjoyed uh, if you have uh, leave a like comment what you think have a look at the blog post I go into various bits more detail um, the, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> if you have any questions, ping me on Discord or email me or something. Um, comment on the blog post, whatever. I will monitor all of those feeds, as I always do, uh, and respond in due course. Um, and I'll leave some links in the description if you want to learn a bit more. And with that, uh, I'll leave you to go browse the rest of YouTube. Goodbye.